Hi guys, welcome back to the Science of Golf Performance. I'm Alex, Director of Performance here at Par for Success. Before getting into our topic today, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, to this video. It helps us share all this good information with people looking to achieve these performance goals in golf. So, topic I would like to talk about today is shoulder pain in golf. A lot of people have it, very common amongst many golfers. Why do we have it? What can we do if we do have it? And uh, what does it mean in some cases? So first thing I want to talk about is why we might be having shoulder pain. So we all know that shoulder mobility is one of those important things that we need uh, for an ideal, ideally good golf swing. Um, so if you don't know what your shoulder mobility, if it's good or it's bad, make sure you check out our home assessment in the link below, below the video. Um, get a coach to look at it here at Par for Success. We can tell you what you need to maximize on, uh, help you get there a little quicker. So for shoulder mobility, you ideally, if you were to get into golf posture and externally rotate the shoulder, so the golf swing demands a high degree of external rotation. So especially in that trail arm, you want to achieve a degree that is a little greater than your spine angle. So it's hard to see by yourself sometimes if you're looking in a mirror, but if you look from this angle here, if I get into my golf posture, bring my elbow up, externally rotate as far as I can, I can kind of see I got a little bit more on spine angle, maybe a little bit. Um, if you find yourself being equal to, so here or less than, it means that there might be some work to be done in this position. So what we want to do is help you achieve a greater degree of shoulder rotation so your backswing can be maximized. It's also going to help people for if you're coming over the top a lot, finding, finding in your golf swing you're coming over the top, uh, getting more external rotation may be the, the problem and what you need to help uh, get a little bit more inside the ball. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go over a few exercises to help you get a little bit more shoulder rotation. Um, Ultimately, if you are lacking this and you have shoulder pain, the pain can be coming from a lack of mobility in the shoulder. So first thing you will need for, these, uh, for this is a lacrosse ball. You can also use a softball or any type of hard ball that you can kind of dig into your muscles to. Um, there are four muscles that we're going to target that are going to help you achieve greater range of motion in your shoulder mobility, uh, but also get rid of any pain that you might be having that accompanies it. So the first spot that I want to talk about is called your infraspinatus. Now this is your external rotator, so directly affects the external rotation of the shoulder. If you take your opposite hand and wrap around to the back of your shoulder here, so if you look from this angle, and do that, go ahead and do that range of motion like I just did that test with your arm, I can feel my muscle uh, moving here. So all you gotta do is kind of reach back there do this motion and this is how I like to find it or tell my clients how to find it. So I feel that moving. What I'm going to do is take that ball, reach around, stick it right in that position and you can either lay on the floor or go up to a wall and you want to push that ball into the muscle as you're doing this motion here. Okay, you're looking for the painful spots, the spots that might feel achy, kind of stripping that trigger, some of the trigger points that may be accumulating in there, restricting your range of motion. Okay. So again, just kind of reach around, find that movement, find where you feel it, the muscle moving, find the sore spots, and that's ultimately going to help with that range of motion in that external rotation position here. Okay. So back to this angle. Uh, the second part that I'm going to take you through, the second muscle we're going to talk about is the subscap. Um, now this is a tricky one, all my clients hate it because it's hard to find, uh, but this is on the opposite side of the infraspinatus. So this one is going to be on the inside of your scapula. To get there, we need to actually go through the armpit. Now for this, I recommend getting a broomstick or if you have a PVC pipe, it might be beneficial. I'm going to pick up my PVC pipe here. Now what I'm going to do is go right up to, we're going to call where I put my deodorant in the morning, right? So right through there and then push up and back and kind of circle my arm around a little bit from here. I don't know if you can see at this angle a little better. Okay, I'm going to push up and back again, searching for those kind of sore, achy spots. And this, this is my internal rotator mainly. So I'm certain if my, if my internal rotator is locked up, there's trigger points. Again, it's going to be pulling my shoulder inward, 
when I'm trying to get that external rotation position. Okay, so again, a little pressure up inside the armpit, You're trying to get in the back side of this gap here. Okay, just a little bit of range of motion with the arm like this, up and down, you can kind of feel it moving within there. And that would be the second spot, and honestly, one of the most common areas that's going to get locked up. Um, it's just because if we sit for long periods of time or even standing, we're very internally rotated beings just naturally. Um, so that internal rotator is pretty common to get locked up. All right, so the third spot that I'm gonna show you guys is the pecs. So kind of going along with the subscap, if we are internally rotated a lot, um, we're sitting, our posture is not great, what's gonna tighten up is our pecs or our chest muscles. And this is really, bad for shoulder rotation in the golf swing because if you think you're going to swing the club shoulders are forward and you're trying to get back i'm not as open as i could be i'm not going to get as much rotation i'm not going to get as much external rotation in my backswing ultimately not great for the golf swing so that's another area we want to target it's also going to help with any pain we have in the front of the shoulder a lot of the time um, or in general in our swing so golf ball for this one uh, lacrosse ball softball on the floor or up against the wall or the uh, anywhere that works, right in the corner of where your shoulder meets your pec. Okay, that's where I'm gonna stick the ball right there. I'm gonna put pressure on here, up against the wall or laying on the floor, whichever works best for you. And then I'm just gonna move my arm a little bit forward and back, up and down. If it's really tender, you can start with just kind of self-massage with the ball. Ultimately, you're gonna to wanna to dig a little bit deeper though. Okay, so a little self-massage, movement of my arm up and down and back. Okay, that should help us to open the chest a little bit more. It'll help us get a little ro more rotation, a little more shoulder movement. The last muscle I wanna talk about that has a great degree of impact when it comes to shoulder rotation, uh, shoulder flexion extension, and can really cause shoulder pain if not treated is your lat muscle. So this is a muscle that's gonna run from the armpit down to your pelvis actually. Okay, so it's pretty long. Um, what we're gonna target is again, with the ball, softball, lacrosse ball. Uh, softball actually works pretty good for this one. Uh, if I look at this angle over here and I put my arm up, I'm actually gonna take that lacrosse ball and put it a little bit below my armpit, maybe a couple inches below my armpit, and then move my arm up and down like this forward, back. Now, best way to get this one is actually laying on the ground. So if you lay on the ground, put pressure. So you're kind of above the ribs on this one. You wanna search around up and down, again, for those sore achy spots. This is gonna help a lot with the degree of flexion extension you're gonna get. Again, a little bit of rotation. Um, but for pain, especially if your lats are locked up, that's gonna do a lot in terms of pulling your shoulders in. Um, it's gonna be bad for movement and can cause a lot of injury down the road. So those are the four spots to address if you're having shoulder pain. Remember the first thing you wanna do is get mobility assessed, especially if you're having pain. So make sure you check out the assessment again below here, use the link down there. You can get a coach to check it out. Do you have the right amount of shoulder mobility? Do you have a lack of mobility and pain? Or maybe you have mobility with pain. There are still some things. You can still address those muscles, um, even if you have mobility and the pain. So get an assessment done. It's the best thing you can do, um, especially if you're having pain. So check out that link. Again, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe on our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.